Hello, I was. Yeah, Mike. Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, it's a little bit distant. I just walked from the Akihaba Electronic oh, Street and then yeah. come to here. Very cool. As you say, it's very interesting. So I will so, take a look. Yeah. So the, this is just kind of like your meeting room. Mm -hmm. Meeting here is. Nice to meet you. They're uh, robotics. So there's. Big wow, yeah. So I put there only this one, educational robot. Well, it's for. Did you hear of the uh, the DARPA disaster rescue robot challenge? <coughs> so what happened is DARP, DARPA funded a, a, a rescue robot uh, uh, competition challenge, and uh, Thor is a product of that. So they. Basically, it had seven tasks you had to do, which is one of them was walk upstairs. Uh, when it was open the door, you'd be surprised how difficult it is to just open up the door because because when you you turn the knob and you push, you know the robot wants to fall down and stuff. And then had to walk over debris, had to uh, power to Who made this? This is uh, actually a collaboration from robotics. Oh. So she bought that. Uh huh. Did you share? He's the He's the creator. He's the head of this. Well, this is a robotics uh, collaboration. From from Shenzhen. So ro robots are very common in Shenzhen. You know, DJI. We recently did yeah, that yeah, one looks like. So, uh, educational robots are popular in China, and this kind of robot probably will be popular in China also. We are thinking about delivering robots. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh. I don't have a car. I only have a YouTube channel and uh, uh, yeah, it's easier like Twitter, Facebook, WeChat, right. Line. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, so this one, why are they going to use it for? There, so this, so this, this was a product. This is like the third version of Thor Mang. Uh, so it started with the Dark Robotics Challenge, and uh, and this is. The result of the, uh, the robotics working to create a humanoid robot has many different applications. Uh, like I said, so you remember when the uh, okay. uh, Japanese so power plant went crazy? At first, our Tolman City on the demo of mine, Crora, Crora, I don't see you. Well, set up a dictionary. Oh, cool. Uh, they are our staff. So he, he is, uh, you know, Robo Cup. Robo Cup. Robo Cup. Yes. The world's best known competition of the autonomous oh. robot, I guess. So. Mo mostly, I only know the robot from China right. and America. I know the Robo Master. Robo Master, <laughs> yes, it's sponsored by DJI. Yeah, I know the Japanese team is taking part in the competition. Oh, yeah, it's cool. being held right now. Oh, yes, yes. He is worldwide robot contest mm -hmm. champion. Yeah. Wow. I got the first place in the last year's international competition uh -huh. yeah, with this robot. So. With this one? This one? Which one? Yeah, I oh, that's why I see. I'm like, so, wow, that looks like yeah, one As you can masters. see, this is kind of a small size rescue robot. Uh -huh. So you may know, Abby, you have may have seen the bigger one, much bigger one, uh -huh. like rescue robot. And this is kind of small size of that one. Oh. And it's going to pick up uh, I think a Pringles can over there. Okay, do it. <laughs> now? Okay. Yes, of okay. course. Um, let me show you. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've, been, they've been practicing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it's, it's like a function like a, a, a waiter or waitress robot. Mm -hmm. Is, is a lot more difficult than it sounds. Putting like a tray with food on a table yeah. and, and busting the table. Yeah. That is actually oh, yeah, very difficult task. Lift it up. Lift it up. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
So this is one of the, this this is similar, kind of similar idea, mm -hmm. but this is the TurtleBot 3, it's an open source project. Mm -hmm. So it uses the LiDAR sensor, mm -hmm. it uses the Raspberry Pi, mm -hmm. and then this is like a really souped up Arduino board. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is, this is like a four or five hundred dollar little kit. Well, four or five hundred dollars. Yeah, so, but it's not hundreds of thousand dollars. Like well, hundreds of thousands. Yeah. <laughs> So this is this is one of their like this is for yeah, educational purpose high school college kids can. Because a lot of people use it because in China they don't have very good tutorial. We have mm -hmm. the Pro Box, but we don't have very good tutorial. And yeah. you know the one who actually use like micro bit, they have teachers who write the instruction in China. I don't think program are very good instruction. Uh, so Robotics has a lots of educational kits, mm -hmm. and they have really good manuals. Mm -hmm. That uh, the example. Yeah, they have great manuals for the teachers and for the kids because uh, they even have uh, people with PhDs in education help them develop those manuals. Um, do you have any of that? So our Turtle 3 is ROS ROS Offshore Platform. ROS Offshore Education Platform. So uh, I designed the prototype of Turtle 3. So, Japanese, Korean, and U.S. and the more country people. So this is, this is your other kit. You developed this arm too, right? Yeah. Oh, you only sell the arm for this package. Yes. Only the arm. And joined to our mobile platform. Oh, this can be put on this one. It will be a yeah, more one better. This one. Oh, I see. So it's a, it's a cheaper version. Something. So that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's uh -huh. a little bit cheaper for colleges and universities to use. Who will, who usually who who will buy this? That would be a that would be a university that uh, does the the did the Darpa Robotics Challenge, I'm or sorry. you can actually have on the, uh, the Global Cup so Soccer. You they have full size humanoid robots this like that competing. Field. Yeah, is this a one can I But this is it's it's mainly a research and development platform. Sell it to Chinese. Chinese use it for delivery. Yeah. <laughs>